Monday morning, vloggy vlogsters. It's Monday, as you might have been able to tell from me saying good Monday morning. Um, welcome to the weekly vlog. I'm Emily. If you didn't watch last week's vlog, we now live in our bedroom, <laughs> basically, um, because we're having our kitchen redone. So that's why uh, vloggage may be restricted to basically one room. I'm hoping to get out of the flat, so hopefully the vloggage won't actually be restricted to one room. Because otherwise we might go mad in the next month. No, not month. Keep telling my husband it's two weeks because he can't handle it unless he thinks it's only going to be two weeks. It's going to take so much longer than two weeks. Anyway, um, I'm on client site today. It's my last week. <laughs> Just because timing is always excellent. Kitchen is starting this week, so Fitter should be arriving any minute now to make a start on ripping out the old kitchen. Um, and then uh, uh, it's my last week on the project I've been working on since January. <laughs> So I've got a really busy week of handing over. Um, so uh, yeah, stuff always lines up, doesn't it? Always lines up. But hey, all the good stuff usually happens then. Oh, that's probably the fitter. It's morning, it's Tuesday. It's all going fine, it's all going fine. It actually is all going fine. It's just quite stressful as I predicted having both kitchen stuff happening and quite a lot of work stuff happening in the same week. But it's all fine. Um, on client site again today, as I am most of the week. OOTD, trying to keep things bright and cheery with some yellow. <laughs> I've got a Joni spotty dress on, ASOS yellow coat, H&M scarf, Clark's comfy heels. Oh, oh, and the tights. I'm sure I'm not the only one who's had loads of ads for snag tights in their Facebook feed um, which are meant to be like tights that fit like tall people, curvy people all different shapes and sizes rather than just like one size of tight that doesn't really fit anyone I mean I always find tights a nightmare because I'm quite tall I'm quite curvy I always find that in order to get them like long enough in the body because I want my tights to come up to like here I do not want my tights falling down um, that they then end up like pooling around my ankles because they're just too big or too long Anyway, um, I finally, I needed some new tights and although these snag tights are not that cheap, I thought, oh God, you know what? I'm just gonna order some. And they come in delightful little packaging. I ordered a size E, which is for like size 18, like five foot seven person. So they do it on both height and size. Um, and so far, I put them on this morning and I got the 80 denier in navy. They're really nice thick denier. All I will say is the gusset area is not as thick as I would usually like. It definitely thins out. I'll give you a bit of a flash. Oh, oh, oh. Can you see? Oh, you can't really see in camera, but it gets a lot thinner as it goes higher. But they feel really comfy so far. They're not like falling down or anything. I'll wear them for the day and see how we go. And then I'll, um, I'll give them a wash as well and see how they respond to that. And I will update you as to whether I've solved all my tights problems. Anyway, got to go to work. Oh hello, you join me back in the bedroom because we live here now having a uh, an M&S microwave ragu um, I have to say this is the second of the M&S microwave meals that I'm sure there are many microwave meals to come M&S have got a three, three for two, three for ten pounds they've got like an offer on their ready meals at the moment so uh, we're stocked up um, to try and see us through this ovenless time um, pretty good so far to be honest can't really complain and they are blooming easy when you are really tired no actual activity around the kitchen for us tonight last night we had to pack up everything and put it in the car to take the tip um just still really tired from that uh dan is a beer club so i'm just gonna do some vlog editing i feel a bit breath there's no bake-off it's become a bit of a tradition for me to vlog edit and watch bake-off Good morning. What is this? Emily vlogging from somewhere other than the bedroom in which we now live. Yeah, I am, to be fair, somewhere else that I feel like the vlogs have been very centred recently. Yeah, can you see that yellow and blue building? I'm at Ikea. I've got to swap um, a damaged cupboard panel. So just popped in to do that. Got here super early. It's only just opening now. But hey ho. Um, but I've got a lovely day lined up today. Um, so I am, um, uh, yeah, 
got my little ikea trip then i'm going home got a few like bits and bobs to do need to finish editing the vlog um that is late again this week because of you know kitchen chaos and then later this afternoon i am meeting up with faye and fiona and laura um hey it's faye uh fiona likes to vlog uh, full to the brum. Uh, very excited to see everyone um, for a quick coffee, which will be really nice. Yeah, I'm repping for the brummies today. In my all white bab, provide tea. Yeah, but kitchen wise, I'm feeling okay. I've got to make a decision, and I'm like, I'm feeling such just decision fatigue over this at the moment. I've got to make a decision about what we do about the extractor fan, and I just feel like. Do you ever feel like you just want someone to come in and just take over and just do it for you? <laughs> That's how I'm feeling right now. But anyway, one task at a time, one achievable thing at a time. Let's go in and get this spot. <laughs> I've had less stressful days. <laughs> I just need to keep reminding myself that this is just a kitchen. Nobody's life's in danger. But basically, when I got back from Ikea after waiting quite a while. I swapped the side panel that was damaged. They gave me another damaged one. Swapped it again. <laughs> and I uh, got home triumphant, having made a decision as well over the extractor issue. Basically, whilst I've been away, another issue had come to light, which pretty much means we've got to redesign the whole island unit. Not really, the, yeah, there we have. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm actually not exaggerating there. Uh, and don't need probably the piece that I went and swapped in the first place. So I've tried to make a decision, an executive decision on that. Come up with a couple of options. Thought I'd made a decision. Started heading to Ikea. Spoke to my husband. He was like, whoa, 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 whoa. You're making a snap decision on this. So I've called a halt <laughs> to everything. <laughs> Fitter has stopped work. He's not gonna come in tomorrow. I don't think he completely hates me. I think he does understand. Um, I think I know now what I want to do and it's something different to what I was gonna do when I was heading back to Ikea. So I am pleased that we've paused. <sighs> I am, I'm vlogging, Faye vlogging. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I am home. I have not achieved, I would say I've not achieved 70% of the things I wanted to achieve today. But one of the things I did achieve was going for coffee and a sandwich with those lovely ladies. And I feel like a different person afterwards. It's amazing what a meetup with some lovely people can do and change your perspective on life oh anyway um that was really nice and i had a sandwich and to be honest although i would like to credit them with most of my uh, mood change i also think i was just really hungry <laughs> and had not assessed <laughs> correctly just how hungry i was um so that's all cool i also went to the doctors um and chatted to her uh, about uh, various things but one of the things I chatted to her about was um, this allergy flare-up I've been having I've mentioned it to you previously I thought maybe it was um, Dan's hair stuff and like changing that doesn't seem to have helped and steroid cream doesn't seem to have helped and it's just getting worse and worse it's now spread over my entire lip again it's quite dark so I don't know if you're gonna be able to see mm, just about maybe you see it's like really dry there and there. Oh, it's gone out of focus again. Anyway, it's quite sore and scaly and fortunately it's just my top lip at the moment, which is sore, but I know once it spreads to my bottom lip, that's when they start to split and just get 
yeah really quite painful um and after my lips come my hands and after my hands last time came all under my eyes as well so i just want to try and avoid this happening um and i was getting a bit freaked out to be honest <laughs> I was getting a bit freaked out that maybe it was um i was developing an allergy to something else or like what was going on um doctor was really reassuring there's a really lovely doctor there who i now try and book in with because <laughs> she's really great and she's exactly the right mix of like reassuring without being dismissive which I think is a really good balance, like a fine balance to take. Um, but basically she's given me a bit of advice um, around that. She doesn't think it's anything to worry about. She thinks it's probably a mixture of stress and the cold. It's not in cold weather you like get sore lips more anyway. And also has given me um, some recommendations around a new steroid cream type routine to use. Apparently what I've been doing is not necessarily the best way to treat um, like uh what they call it perioral dermatitis like dermatitis around your lips yeah. anywho so yeah so i'm now back home sat on my bed husband will be home from work soon we will no doubt have an exciting microwave meal again um oh i didn't really do an ootd today for you did i i've kind of taken bits of my outfit off now <laughs> hang on i'll uh i'll insert the instagram of this uh outfit So yeah, so that's what I'm wearing today, which is a Provide uh, All Right Bab Tea, ASOS Cardi, Navy ASOS Skirt, uh, Lilac ASOS Belt, and my new docks. Mm. Just going to chill for a bit. Um, and then, yeah, might try and get my vlog up. We'll see. But I'm not going to punish myself if it's up late this week because there's been a lot going on. So tonight we've got a uh, m &S Carbonara. I think this is probably the one that looks the least appetising that we've had so far. Rather enjoyed last night's pork. Oh well, let's see. Good morning and happy Friday. I say happy Friday. A bit sad today. It's my last day on the project I've been working on since January. And although I know the time is right for me to move on, to flit off onto another project now and let somebody take over the business as usual type stuff. Um, I'm really sad because it's been a lovely, lovely team of people to work with. So, always the same, such is the life of a freelancey, self-employed, contracty person. Uh, digital type for hire, I think is, digital content type for hire, I think is what's on my uh, Insta bio, uh, probably sums it up. Anyway, last day in an office for who knows how long OOTD. So yes, this is all getting increasingly messy, isn't it? We really need to have a bit of a tidy up at the weekend so it doesn't become hell living in the bedroom. But here's the outfit. So I'm wearing an H&M pink jumper, green ASOS trousers, pink Orla Keely for Clark Shaws. Right, off I go. Oh my God, it's so rainy outside. I need to like, I think it's on the inside. Oh. Um, had a really good but very sad day, got absolutely soaked on my way home, met Dan on his way home from work and grabbed a glass of wine at Connolly's which was lovely, looked like this. It was orange wine, I've not had orange wine before, I'm aware this is the new hipster wine. Um, the one I had had like a sea salt flavour to it which was like really unusual but I quite enjoyed it, Dan did not like it. I think I liked it, I think I would have more orange wine in the future. And on the way home, we have nipped to the Indian brewery and grabbed some takeaway. Yes, as a change for our microwave meals for a Friday night treat and an end of project treat as well. Um, really gonna miss everyone I've worked with, um, but I hope I'll meet up with them before Christmas and catch up. So I'm just, oh, I'm so tired. I'm so tired. <laughs> like pouring your brain out into someone else to hand over is, is quite tiring. Um, but yeah, it's been, it's been lovely. I'm gonna eat and maybe snuggle up in my dressing gown and watch some TV. That's it for tonight. It's Saturday. Dan's technically on holiday now. And what a holiday it is. Dealing with kitchen shizzle. Today's mission. <laughs> Dealing with this. and also prepping some stuff to take back. Yep, there's gonna be another trip to Ikea. Probably tomorrow. Okay. Quick hair wash and change, and we're going out for the first of Dan's birthday meals, commencing his birth week. Uh, outfit of the evening, OOTE. So, 
alongside all the mess we have had a tidy up in here earlier would you believe it uh i've got on a little asos pink skater dress gray tights gray boots gray blue and pink scarf from h&m gray leather jacket all old and i'm gonna go and eat some mexican food probably minimal vloggage because like our nephews will be there so you know other people's kids on the internet all of that stuff but oh, i'm looking forward to a burrito Kitchen Island Mark II. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Just done an IKEA trip where uh, we discovered we're going to have at least one more IKEA trip to do. Because I took, I took, we we took one of the wrong bits back. But never mind. Had a meatball lunch. Makes up for everything. I'm actually getting a bit bored of meatballs now. I never thought I'd say that. Anywho, uh, I have Dan's just dropped me off in town on our way back. Got a couple of bits to sort out for the birthday boy tomorrow. I was gonna take Dan out for some dinner tonight because we're actually out seeing friends tomorrow night on his actual birthday. Uh, but he's decided <laughs> he'd like to stay in. <laughs> Just have a chill night and it's his birthday, so that's cool. It does make things a bit easier because we've got some IKEA units to build when we get home. But I have to say, we had a really complicated like order to return because some of it was returned, some of it's exchange, some of it was because it was damaged, some of it's because it wasn't right and it's really complicated and the lady, the lovely lady in Ikea was lovely and she was very good. Got us sorted very quickly. We could go up and have some lunch whilst they picked all the replacement stuff. So actually the most stressful bit was getting it all ready to take back, it wasn't actually taking it back so go Ikea.